the video, I am going to discuss you about the new topic that is called ecosystem. It is the 14th topic in your biology syllabus. Total number of the marks awarded for this topic will be 6 marks. Topics to be covered means the topics are given content. I will discuss the discussion about the topic. First one, an ecosystem structure and function. Second one, productivity. Third one, decomposition. Fourth one, energy flow. Fifth one, ecological succession. Sixth one, nutrient cycling. And finally, seventh one that is called ecosystem services. What is ecosystem? Ecosystem is nothing but a, it is a functional unit of the nature. Ecosystem is a ecosystem is a functional unit of nature. E ecosystem can be created. Functional unit of nature and nature vector. Why it is called as functional unit of nature? Because here living organisms interact with each other with their physical environment. Okay. Where living organisms interact each other and with their physical environment. That is called ecosystem it means that if you have an organism survival avatar and you know the organism will be interaction on the way if a frog survival avatar grass is going to be interaction on the way a frog grass is going to be or insect is going to be snake survival avatar frog will be interaction on the way if it is biotic or abiotic component the interaction on the way Nature or so it is an ecosystem from this example for this ecosystem. Ecosystem example forest ecosystem, river ecosystem, desert ecosystem, grassland ecosystem. So topic in the detail study. Okay. Types of ecosystem. Ecosystem First one, natural ecosystem. Self-established ecosystem. Self-established ecosystem in a nature. That is called natural ecosystem. It means that nature of the Yav ecosystem itself is original. That is called natural ecosystem. Already example of the book of the itself by original intakanta ecosystem forest ecosystem river ecosystem forms ecosystem So you are natural ecosystem already by the way, these are the self-established ecosystem in a nature. Okay, so this is the first one. Second one. Artificial ecosystem. Artificial, this artificial ecosystem is nothing but a, it is a man-made ecosystem. Ecosystem made and maintained by human. That is the artificial ecosystem. So, later some of the organisms are conserved by the human part of the artificial ecosystem. Example in the garden ecosystem. Aquarium में बोले, geological park के बोले, ये लाये ये लाये बंदा बंदा, artificial ecosystem लगड़े बंदा बंदा, man-made ecosystem लगड़े बंदा बंदा, third one that is the terrestrial ecosystem, ecosystem, ecosystem found on land, ecosystem found on land, that is the Terrestrial ecosystem. And land will ecosystem kind of terrestrial ecosystem of the Example terrestrial 
इकोसिस्टम का एग्जाम्पल लेना ही होगा फॉरेस्ट है बोली डिजर्ट है बोली ग्रासलैंड है डिजर्ट आती एग्जाम्पल बोल दी टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम फोर्थ वन डेट इस कॉल्ड अक्वेटिक इकोसिस्टम इकोसिस्टम फाउंड इन वाटर इकोसिस्टम फाउंड इन वाटर दैट इस कॉल्ड अक्वेटिक इकोसिस्टम एग्जांपल फॉर दिस अक्वेटिक इकोसिस्टम लेक बरोड़ी लेक वाले बड़े एयर इंट्रैक्शन नहीं करता पॉन्ड वाले बड़े एयर इंट्रैक्शन नहीं करता अलग अलग अक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म जिंदा होने अक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म सर्वे वाले के तरफ वाटर के लिए इंट्रैक्शन मारते हैं तो एग्जांपल लेक इकोसिस्टम पॉन्ड इकोसिस्टम रिवर इकोसिस्टम ओशियन इकोसिस्टम इट मींस दैट फॉर देर आर फोर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इकोसिस्टम फॉर दे फर्स्ट वन नो फर्स्ट वन दैट इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल इकोसिस्टम सेकंड वन आर्टिफिशियल इकोसिस्टम थर्ड वन टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम फोर वो अक्वेटिक इकोसिस्टम ओके नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट एस्पेक्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इकोसिस्टम कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इकोसिस्टम इट मींस दैट ये इको इकोसिस्टम हम देखने जाते हैं एग्जांपल आप लोगों ने मिला है ये ये फॉरेस्ट इकोसिस्टम ये फॉरेस्ट हम तक करने तो ना हम इकोसिस्टम ये कंसीडर करने के लिए तो अदर ये ये कंपोनेंट बनता था ये ये कंपोनेंट बनता था ईच इकोसिस्टम वाला बने वन ये तो बायोटिक कंपोनेंट हम देखने बनता है फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट दैट इस कॉल्ड बायोटिक कंपोनेंट वन मोर कंपोनेंट दैट इस कॉल्ड सेकंड वन ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट हम देखने बनता था there are two components of the ecosystem first one biotic component of the ecosystem second one is the abiotic component of the ecosystem there are one ecosystem one you will do components and one thing biotic component of an ecosystem this biotic component of an ecosystem is also called as living component of an ecosystem ee forest anta kanta kondu nam ecosystem anta ekshan helidu andra ee ecosystem alagade बायोटिक कंपोनेंट यार बताओ तो अलेव तक करता हूँ प्लांट्स बताते हैं एनिमल्स बताते हैं अलेव प्रोड्यूसर है वो कंज्यूमर से वो डिकंपोजर से वो अवेला लिविंग कंपोनेंट वाले बड़े बताते हैं अंदर लिविंग कंपोनेंट का इन्होंने जैसे नहीं लगा ना बायोटिक कंपोनेंट का देखने के लिए इधर नॉन लिविंग कंपोनेंट आप एन एकोसिस्टम में लगे वाटर बोल रहे हैं, स्वाइल बोल रहे हैं, सनलाइट बोल रहे हैं, एयर बोल रहे हैं, इधर लग अबायोटिक कंपोनेंट आप एन एकोसिस्टम। इट मींस दैट दिस बायोटिक एंड अबायोटिक कंपोनेंट आप एन एकोस दिस बायोटिक एंड अबायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स आर इंटरेक्टिंग इच अदर इन बायोटिक का मतलब ये अबायोटिक कंपोनेंट ये मार्च करता है ना सर्वाइवल आप सर्वाइवल बायोटिक कंपोनेंट वाली इंटरेक्शन मार्च करता है ना ओके राइट सो ये लेट ना ना ये बायोटिक कंपोनेंट पे क्या ना अगेन डिटेल है स्टडी मार्ट का बोलते हैं डिलिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म्स ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म्स � The living organisms are classified into three groups. Classified into three groups based on right, based on based on how they derive their food from the nature. This biotic component can be classified into different categories based on how they derive their food. From the nature, from the environment. There are three categories of these biotic component. First one, producer. Second one, consumers. Third one, decomposers. It means that yau the other living system ana toh dhanadra. Yau the other living organism sana toh dhanadra. Either it may be plants in bodhi, either it may be animals in bodhi, either it may be microbes toh bodhi. Yau the other living organism sana toh dhanadra. 
ಅದು ಈ ತ್ರೀ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಏನಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಕನ್ಸೂಮರ್ ಡಿ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಈ ಮೂರು ಒಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದಾಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನೋ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ which can prepare their own food ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ which can prepare their own food that is called producers example for this producer plants example for this producer for the plants and you green algae why they prepare their own food because of the presence of chloroplast leaf will be plants and like a little chloroplast contamination kind of other it's a little food on a trick here one these producer are also called as autotrophs okay first one producer green plants second consumers those organism those organisms which directly those organism which directly or indirectly depends on producers that is called consumers example for this consumers all human beings are there example what are that human beings in both cover both animals okay next one decomposers the organism which feed on dead bodies of plants and animals the organism which feed on either dead bodies of consumers or producers that is called decomposers example for this decomposers that is called bacteria and some fungi okay here this consumer sir further classified into this consumer sir further classified into four category you consumer sir gade bartha again these consumers are further classified into four categories herbivores herbivores means what the organism which directly feed on producer it means that this is an uh, plant this one is called plant this plant it is called producer this plant belongs to producer category in consumer level there are only three four group are there other one the first group herbivores and the organism which feed directly on plants for example let's go and take another one example and go here go if cow is there the cow herbivores are there for because this cow directly feed the this producer that is called herbivores the organism which directly feed down this producer that is the herbivores example cow and the sheep second that is the carnivores carnivores the organisms the organisms which feed on herbivores it means that this is the herbivores cow is nothing but herbivores category line line this line is nothing but it is carnivores because it feeds on herbivores those organism which feed on herbivores that organism that is called carnivores example you no know, line of text is that third one that is called omnivores what is omnivores omnivores is nothing but the organism which feed on both plant and animals that is called omnivores so the example for this omnivores microorganisms oh, sorry not the microorganism the organism which feed on both plants and animals that is called uh, omnivores human being cat and pony dog and pony so these are the example for the omnivores next one parasites the organism which survival in or on another host of the organism that is called parasites example are tapeworm in human intestine that is called so we are parasitic example okay 
In next video, I am going to discussing about the next aspects of this topic. Thank you.